One more, everybody, remember, it's your responsibility to expect this to be a great day. You know, last week and on many other occasions, we talk about the tremendous power, almost magic-like power, in the concentration of your thoughts. And we talk about how what you think about most is who you become. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter if you recognize this phenomenon as being reticular formation or reticular activation or just concentration, and then the events that result from that being self-fulfilling prophecies or self-determinant futures. It doesn't matter. The bottom line is you will only see what you look for and believe to be there, and then when you make, and you will make decisions based upon what you see, and your life is a result of your decisions. So, you know, as you, you know, go through your personal library, which I know you have, and you, and, you, and you listen to the counsel and philosophies of people that have done tremendous things in their, in their lives, you're going to find out that they have found the ability to hone, hone in their internal vision and focus on things over a long period of time. And then soon the things they focused on, they're living in. Let me give you another example. You know, and this of the machinery of concentrated thoughts. And I think I can give an example that, if not everybody, most people might be able to relate to. And the machinery I'm going to talk about is the sex machine, human sex drive. You know, human sex drive is all mental. Yeah, there's a lot of hormones and a lot of other things involved, but what those hormones do when they're flushed into your bloodstream is put imageries, it put thoughts in your head, it put images in your mind. And you're dwelling on those images where we know what happens there. You look around and you see the world populated with almost over 6 billion people. And to think that, you know, recreation, procreation starts initially as a thought should be as enough evidence as you need. Think about your life back going through adolescence. When, when the hormones first kicked in, how your minds and thoughts were flooded with thoughts of sex, you know. And, and ask yourself, did they change the way you behave? Did they change the, what you, the decisions you made? Did they change who you talked to, where you went? Did they change your ability to get out of your comfort zone? Did they change your ability to do some things that you weren't that comfortable with? Did they change everything? You know, the total concentration of thought is critical to the procreation of the human species and is critical to the manifestation of your dreams. Think about that. Think about the mechanics of sex and ask yourself this. If there were such thing as success hormones and they flooded your body with, with, with hormones that would produce images in your head of your dream life, would you find a way? <laughs> would you find a way? Well, if you make the comparison to the sex machine, I think you know the answer. Concentration of thoughts. Concentration of thoughts is critical to hone in your ability to see what is in front of you so that you can make decisions to get you where you say you want to go. Expect a great day.